there's so much that I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to forget something. Yeah. There's just so much footage and I can't remember all of it. So I'm like trying to show him. I'm like, you, this is, this is it, right? This is everyone's part, right? This yeah. is. Yeah. And I was there I for like every session. So I know like all the clips. So, uh, but I still didn't show him his stuff until. Premiere. Okay. So like no, so, so <laughs> no, no, actually. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yo, what up, what up? It's uh, Aaron Vaughn, and this is uh, our first episode of the first podcast, an extension of the shop. Um, we got our first guest tonight. We got Cruz Lopez, Ben Barada. What's up? What up, what up? So uh, we, we tried this once last week, and we, we had some we had some malfunctions, so we're back at it for part two, first episode still, and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. So, where are you guys from? Lafayette. West Lafayette. West Lafayette. Specifically. Yeah, people cross the cross the bridge. Yeah, there's a uh, uh, difference between, you know, regular Lafayette and West Lafayette. I forgot to get this TV going. Yeah, you're just from regular Lafayette. Damn. He's saying he's saying you ain't shit. That's what I hear. That's that's nuts. <laughs> uh, Cruz, when did you start skateboarding? Uh, like. Eight to like ten. Eight to ten, and you're what? Twenty, twenty-four now. So how many years is that? It's like that's ten or sixteen years, yeah, something like that. Right in there, fifteen, sixteen years. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Trying to see his wheels turn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm not gonna do math. <laughs> I feel, you, I feel you. Put you on the spot. Ben, when did you start skating? Uh, I was twelve, so I'm twenty-four also. Yeah, so it's about twelve years. About twelve years, solid. Um, so when did you guys meet each other? When when did that come about? Do do you know? Bro, it was like uh, 2019 or 18. I f I feel like it had to have been at Faith. Yeah. 2019. <laughs> well, we skated. Yeah, yeah. We didn't actually film for like a while. Right, cause cause from 2017 to 21, I'm in college, yeah. so I'm in Bloomington that whole time. And from, wow. so before that, like, I met, how I first started, like, filming and stuff was, I met Austin, and that was probably around 2014. Um, and so I'm just filming with Austin, and then mostly the older guys at that point. It's really just Austin and Freddie, and sometimes Adrian. Okay. Um, and they were just park guys. And at that point, I had already been, I'd already been hurt for a while, and I really didn't go to the park because I, I wasn't skating that much myself. I would just go on street missions. Wow. So it wasn't really until we started filming for Apollo that I like really linked up and started hanging out with crews. Like we would we would link up if Austin brought him on the session, someone else brought him on the session. But when we actually started just linking up the two of us was probably around that time, 19, 20, something like that. Wow, that's crazy. I thought it was like <clears throat> I think I started working at Rise at like two th in 2017 and I swear I thought all y'all came in together. Right. Like, wow. Yeah. But y'all knew each other then, though, yeah? yeah. But you didn't, like, yeah, start kinda. actually, like, getting active in the streets and, like, filming and being productive until... Well, yeah, like, nothing like it was... Nothing like it is now. We'll just, like... Get out We'll go. go out together. We'll kick it together. Like, yeah. you know, just the real OG stuff. I hear you. Damn, that's wild. I don't know why. And so you guys started skating then, and then... So you knew a lot of the older cats before you did, because you moved here from Carolinas? Yeah, North Carolina. North Carolina. And Probably, then you were yeah. already skating with everybody. Yeah, I think so. When? That point. What year did you get here? Like 14 or 15. Right, so that's basically the same time that I started. Like 14, 15-ish is when I link up with Austin. And we Im almost immediately start um, filming street clips because that's just what we were about at that point. Um, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, so. Crazy. But you, when did you start filming? Because I don't think it was, I don't, your first part was Apollo split section with you and Grub mm, yeah as far as I know shout out young young Grub shout out <laughs> he's back there behind the camera yes sir <clears throat> when did that come out that came out I th I'm pretty sure it was 20 that that came out 20 yeah pretty sure it was 20 damn, so probably like 19 18 right damn that's crazy so then you guys Started really getting productive in 2019, 2020, and then 
Yeah, we're me? filming like every day. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't really hear myself. I, <clears throat> I can't. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I My, it, mine kind of went out too. Okay. I don't know if it's like if I want to plug or something. <clears throat> I can hear myself now though. As long as y'all can hear yourself. Yeah. Mine worries. Now I can hear you. It was yeah. out for a second. Try to say something now. What's up? What's up? Yeah, no, I hear you. Okay. Um, so then you guys really started getting active as far as filming goes, 2019, 2020. Everybody started coming to come, coming together as a crew. Right. As far as the group projects, yeah. Yeah. Because it was mostly up until that point, it was just Austin filming solo stuff and then us just kind of hanging out and uh, on those sessions, whether or not somebody else got a clip or not, um, <clears throat> yeah. was just kind of like the extent of what we had. I can't remember... Was that was that edit? You remember that edit? It was just called Lafayette Skating. Was that before Apollo? I think yeah, I saw that. I'm, pretty, was, sure that yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a little yeah. bit before Apollo. Because that's like, it's a lot of like 2017, 2018 footage. Like stuff that, that was when like I wasn't around. That was when I was like college. So yeah, we, yeah, we really got active um, around the Apollo times. And that was like the first kind of big group project that we put out, which was dope. That's sick. And then Cruz, so back when you were in Carolinas, like <clears throat> how did that go? You said before, you know, you were like the little brother of your of your brother. Yeah. Like kind of showing up and everybody knew him. Yeah. Yeah, he was like the the local hero. That's crazy. Shout out Oscar. Yeah, yeah, for yeah Oscar. He's a shout out. Legend. Dude, yeah, I've, I met him one time this summer and he was cool. He was just super mellow. Yeah, and he rips. Yeah, and he's good. He's he ri- chilling. He lives. Like, I love that. I love Everything that. first try. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Out the car, no warm-up. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to commit. You can tell he's, like, comes oh, from yeah. that era of, like, just oh, committing. Yeah. He's yeah. not trying to just Every not try. do that. I think the first clip you ever showed me of him was, like, Nolly Bix went over, like, a bump to bump. Yeah. At a park, it was, like, a big bump to bump. I was like, damn, what? I get. Like, I guarantee you that was no more than three goes. Yeah, he got those, bro. That, that's why I love Nolly Big because he does them all the time. Yeah, <laughs> and he like pops them good yeah, too. Yeah, crazy. It's not, yeah, it's no bullshit. So then you grew up skating up under him. How many years was he skating before you picked up skating? I don't know, but he was probably my age now. So. Oh really? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. So he was like, get, he was like late to the game skating, like picking no, up skating. I morning? mean, he, I don't really remember, but he had to be like eighteen to. Like pretty. That's crazy. Right. He probably just seemed older at that point. Yeah. Because yeah. when you're young, yeah. people just seem so old. The yeah. perception of age and like time is so much more different. Right. I'm like, I'm looking up to dudes in Lafayette, and I'm like, man, these are like dudes, and they're like 17. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's crazy for me too because I mean, I grew up in Lawrence on the east side, and uh, all the guys that I grew up being around, like all the Rise guys, they would always be at like Carmel Park, and they were like 20, 21, 22, 23. They were all like riding Harleys and shit, and I thought that was like the sickest stuff. I thought they were like, in my eyes, being a 16, 17, 18 year old, I thought they were like 30, 35. And they were just like your guys' age now. Right, right, right. You know, it's so wild. <laughs> and then I'm like way past that age now, and I'm like, dude, time is crazy. Right. That's facts. Sick. So, uh, what about you, Ben, as far as like your upbringing? You were skating by yourself in the beginning, too, and then linked up with Austin and yeah, yeah, Park so- Kid. <laughs> I don't know if I call it park kid. I, <laughs> I was uh, never at the park. Were you a park kid? I listen. When I first started going to that park, I was on rollerblades. Oh yeah, and that's a fact. <laughs> and that's a fact. And Loki, I'm kind of upset about it because I was way better at rollerblades <laughs> than, I, than I was at skating for a long time, and that pissed me off so much. I and was so frustrated. You said you figured that out pretty fast. Like with skating, you were like, all right, like. This isn't necessarily the route that I, I would like to go this way, but it wasn't. So you picked up a camera, yeah? Right. Well, I mean, I loved it. I loved it because it was hard too. Right. Like it, it, it didn't come as easy to me as other sports did. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. the more traditional stuff, soccer, football. Like I could play those things, and it kind of it it upset me that this was so hard and that I wasn't good at it fast. So yeah. that like kind of drove me to to wanna to wanna like figure it out because it just was like yeah it was just super frustrating yeah, of course. but yeah i got hurt super early so 13 i had my first knee surgery uh, and then so i meet austin kind of right after that and that's when i start um that's when i kind of pick up the camera and not only do i meet austin but i meet like freddie and all of the older dudes in lafayette were so good i mean he knows this everyone was like kind of well, yeah. Yeah. ridiculously <clears throat> good so i sure. kind of wanted to i just wanted to be able to bring something to the table that was like 
still productive. You know, nobody, there wasn't sure. like a, like Dom film for sure. Um, but I kind of wanted to, I, I had the dedication for it. I just, my brain to body connection was not there yet. <laughs> yeah, you know for sure. I mean? So I was like, okay, I can, I could put it into something else because I still have a lot of passion for skating and, um, I, I love skate videos. I think that's kind of like the first, my first connection with skating was just watching videos and being like, wow, this is like, this medium is really cool. I like the way that you can portray it. Um, mm -hmm. It's not like I see, it's not like a highlight reel of, you know, yeah, you know, Chris Paul crossing people up, Yeah, even yeah. though those are dope and I'll still watch those today. <clears> but <throat> I just like the way it was presented. So yeah, that's kind of, that's how I ended up picking up the camera. Um, and yeah, that was probably around, that was 14, 15 ish face skate park. Wow. Shout out. Also <laughs> rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. The park is not there. RIP. And so what was your first camera then? I had a Canon T3i. Ah, oh, classic. That's, that was my, right. I think I got my first camera in 2016, 17, maybe it was 17. And I still have that the T3i. It's like oh a classic. yeah. I just found it a couple of days ago. It's in my attic. That's wild. Yeah. It's a DSLR though, man. Big hunk hey, of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I focused my very first lens at, uh, I got the worst wheel bite of my life. I'm filming a line of, I'm pretty sure it was Austin at Vent. And I just get wheel bite and I just <laughs> smack the thing forwards. The whole lens just Jeez, cracks dude. in half. Yeah. Damn, dude. That's tough. I'm pretty sure Tyrone was there. He was laughing. <laughs> I was like, man, it's not funny. <laughs> You're like a little kid. Tyrone's like just. 30 year old dude like laughing yeah, yeah. i'm like man it's not cool that's uh, tough dude but that's sick at least you like got into it you recognized it early i feel like a lot of people don't get into filming or the other side of skating until they're older and they've got a job or they're like off into something else like most dudes right. are just like all right you know i want to keep skating but you recognize that early and it paid off you know? yeah yeah i attached onto the film aspect really really early which was which was helpful to have something that i was like that i love that much because of course wasn't really into much else. Yeah. Yeah, at that point. Right. You're just a kid trying to figure it out. Right, right. That's sick. Man, I love that. So then um, fast forward to, you know, pre-shop <clears throat> time. You guys were filming those, like, homie videos. Oh, yeah. And then you were coming into the shop. <clears throat> but you guys weren't really coming down here that often. You guys are still up in LFT, like, pretty often. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you since, <laughs> since 65 Connection, you you know that hike. It's yeah. kind of a hike. It is. Like, a little over an hour. I mean, on a on a bad day, it's a little over an hour. On a good day, you can get right. 50, 50 minutes to an hour. If yeah. you catch it at the wrong time, though, you're getting one. You can get 130, 145 ease. Uh, <laughs> so many filming missions. I'd go up there by myself, solo trips, just to, like, link up with you guys. It'd be, like, hour and a half. Or like some somebody would wreck or something like that. I'd be right. on sixty five for forever. Right. That's when I would come down. It's like, all right, I gotta get pants. I gotta get a shirt. <laughs> I gotta find the board. I yeah. maybe trucks, whatever, because I don't want to take this trip again. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I don't want to ask my parents again. Like, yo, I forgot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear that. But yeah, you guys were like right before the shop. You guys were just doing homie stuff up in LFT. weren't coming down that much. But you guys would come down and like skate the parks. I feel like you guys weren't really skating street that much. It was like Austin. Like Yeah. Yeah, we would only skate street when Austin went, pretty much. Yeah. Right. It, we were always very like, uh, <clears throat> street was kind of like always at the center of what we did, you know? That's why it, it was just kind of, it was just kind of natural filming videos. It, like, it, it was just, it was just what we did. Like, we didn't really know anything different. For sure. But I feel like, being in smaller towns, you know, like a Lafayette or, or a Muncie or a Bloomington, like, you get capped out on spots. And that's another thing. Like, me being up there the last, what, I started going up there 2019, 2020, I'm so burnt. <laughs> Y'all already well, know I'm so wow. burnt on Lafayette. Lafayette. Oh, yeah. Oh, then we have spots, though. <laughs> this guy. He's already so over it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, I'm like two years into actually skating there, and I'm like, bro, I'm so burnt on Lafayette. Oh, my God. Imagine living there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I could not. I'm, I could never live in a smaller town. And no, no park ever. anymore. Yeah. So but it's, it's soon, just Vent Ledge. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, bro. That's a meetup spot. Yeah, it is. That was like the Pan Am for us. Like Pan Am was like our link up spot here in the city for forever downtown. I forgot about Pan Am. Is it still good? No. there's a, They tore all that up. There's about to be a hotel there now. Yeah. Bro, that is disappointing. Yeah, so that one's gone. That was like a staple. So, yeah, as far as, like, spots up there, what was your favorite spot, Cruz? Or I guess what is your favorite spot, but, like, what Bro, was your favorite spot? That's so a what great was, question. What, I didn't ask this the first time. So what was your guys' favorite spot? What is 
you can't even ask what's going to be, you know, what your favorite spot is. It'll probably be the park. But hell no. <laughs> streetwise. <laughs> streetwise. My favorite spot yeah. right now yeah. is Slater Stage. Okay, yeah, that's that's Of course, yeah. <laughs> and that's if y'all don't know, that's, that's the best spot, bro. Perfect flat ground. Yeah. Gas manual pad. It is good. And that's his uh that's his Ender and 65 connection. It's the it's the stage. Facts. He does some manny clips on that. <laughs> Facts. He's got tons of clips. Maybe like three, four bangers on there. Oh, easily. You need to grind that thing though. Yeah, for a well, clip though. Yeah. Shit scary. I got you. What was your favorite spot back in the day though? Uh probably vent. Yeah. Honestly, like I like the I, ledge I, or yeah, 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 over yeah. the gap. The ledge. Out of that probably. whole area right there. Yeah. That's cool. I, I like yeah, the whole area is pretty fun. What about you, Ben? Dude, I would say my favorite like I always really wanted to get a trick on the fountain. So the the drop in kind of like the Yeah. The big ass, yeah. That thing sucks. It's, <laughs> it's, it's impressive. It's scary. Bro, I it's feel like scary. every year somebody like does a new trick on it, like skates it a different way. Yeah. yeah. So I always wanted to do that. I would say, man, I used to love to skate. There was a four stair at my high school, so West Side, that was like into this hill bomb. Yeah. And so I would love just going there and ollieing it. I never did anything but ollie it. Really? But like I would do it all the time because it was right by my house. Wait, that's not the school with the low to high ledge, no? The one that we skate? No. With like the little walk walkway with that's, that's that's Jeff. Jeff. That's, that's Jeff. Jeff. Okay, that's Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the one so the spots you would recognize, um <clears throat> was it a, a nine or a eleven? The eleven. Yeah, there's an eleven. Also there, back tailed. There, there was the eight. Oh, right. with the skinny eight rail. Yes, too. Yeah. yes, with the curve. No, that yeah. one that yeah, was yeah. eleven though. No, no, yeah. no. So the, the eight's in front. Yeah. Eight's but in then front. the 11. And then there's like that one that, uh, what's his face? Uh, Andy, when he went to Lafayette, he tried to like melon it or like grab it. It's like the, the set of stairs. Someone tried to melon it. Yeah, it's like there. curved. It's like curved. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I remember Andy. Yeah. Uh, I f- I'm forgetting his last name. Forgive me, Andy, if you see this. Uh, but he, he was very fried. Yeah, he tried to like melon oh. it or something like that. Did he really? Yeah, I think it was either a melon or like an indie grab. He like tweaked it out though. Wow. I saw somebody sent it to me, and I was like, "Real what? Why is he? That's crazy." <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen anyone else skate that, but Austin. I know the hill though. You're talking about it's like right out front. Austin, yeah, so Austin's there's been robbed on that thing. That's yeah. facts. There was a the new pool, so they they tore all that stuff down. But yeah, there was a four stair into a dope ass hill bomb that I used to do all the time. That's sick. Yeah. Wow. Simple stuff for me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple, man. Oh yeah. So those are your favorite spots. And um, so then, yeah, we just came out with this video. You, know, you guys have been working on videos, but this is what our second shop video now called 65 Connection. Yes, sir. Full part from Cruz. Full part from Ethan. Full part from Jason. <laughs> like go. a half part from Kawan. Let's go. I had a part. We had a lot of homies in there. It was like a good good little flick, man. I felt like that's what best project to date, you think? I It's it's. The favorite one that I've ever made, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving you like full creative control to like curate it and it I'm, came out. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of like, you know, I just, I, I love the, the music and um, I I was thinking about this for a long, long time. So yeah. I kind of had went over a bunch of like iterations of it in my head and just kind of tested a bunch of different stuff and I'm really happy with, with how it came out and even the name, like I can't. I think I threw like three names out at you or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you did. You had real life, 65 connection. Real life. Yeah, real, real and, life. And something else. But 65 as far as oh, like it was like audience f- capturing, you know what I mean, made the most sense. So. The other name was like Vision or something. Yeah. Something but like I mean that. like I get it, you know. Like, right, right. It. They could have worked, but I do like that. I do like 65 connection. I think that one's super cool. And it's just straight to the point. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm definitely hyped. I'm hyped with how it turned out. Cruz, how do you feel? About the video? It was pretty awesome. It was fun. Yeah. That was like it's, your favorite one you've done so far? Like yeah. as far as parts go? Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. He's been getting recognized for it too, which is really dope. Yeah, man. Dude, I have people like still DMing me like all the time. <laughs> dude, I'll have people like reach out on like YouTube to the shop and then they'll be like, dude, like this is like one of the sickest like Midwest shop videos I've seen in forever. It's like, always, always crazy. Wow. To me. Yeah. Blessing for sure. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> it, was, it was so much footage. I mean, Cruz was there for basically every editing session I did. Yeah, um, it was wild. Oh, I mean, we it was maybe four nights a week for like uh, maybe five weeks, something like that. What's a minute, dude? It was like a, having to go over everything, over and over. Yeah, like, right. I'm like, 
I'm like running songs by him. Yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to run other people's footage by him because there's so much that I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to forget something. Yeah. There's just so much footage and I can't remember all of it. So I'm like trying to show him. I'm like, you, this is, this is it, right? This is everyone's part, right? This yeah. is. Yeah. And I was there I for like every session. So I know like all the clips. So, wild. but I still didn't show him his stuff until premiere. Okay, so like no, so fully. so no, no, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's actually a funny story. So, <laughs> no one else in the in the video had seen their stuff until that day, but he had been with me so much throughout the entire editing process. Yeah, and um, we just been kicking it. So he he came down to Bloomington with me. We went to the uh, IU Kansas basketball game. Mm-hmm. So it's just me, him, and my dad partying <laughs> in Bloomington, and so we just yeah. we're we're pretty cooked it's like maybe two in the morning <laughs> yeah and i'm i'm oh you showed him i'm showing him the whole video <laughs> yeah. i'm like hey i'm like i won't tell anybody bro hey wait now he gets to the last part he's and like, i'm telling fuck it bro let's do it <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's too good though. i don't even how much of that do you remember though because not a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean like burnt like i know, I, I remember the song but that was it right that's crazy because the the only song in that video that i didn't choose was his first song the peso pluma beat yeah but it made sense for him like when oh, you yeah. when you sent me the link, I was like, it made full sense. Right, and like, to me now, if I listen to that that beat, it doesn't sound complete without the skating sounds. <laughs> yeah, it's like it just ran through your mind so much. You literally yeah. watched it. Be right, it's kind of like empty. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, damn. I mean, that was a good lengthy part, bro. It was me and Cruz were out. I think from what J- June, I say June to like November, we were out five yeah. days a week. <laughs> yeah. It was really that long. Right, yeah. quit your whole job. Yeah. Yeah. Full time skater. Yeah. Fully, fully quit the, fully quit the job. A secure job for this part. That was wild. Yeah, but it was worth it, man. I yeah, feel like it was. We, we, really, we really made it work. <laughs> and then we so got lights. Fun. Right. Yeah. Right. And you got hooked up with an even better job now. So. Yeah. Well, that's true. It was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, I mean, you really quit that, and then I was like, at that point, I was working seven days a week at the shop, and then I would get off. And then we would get out and skate, and then it started getting dark earlier. By the time I would get off, so I was went and bought the lights. Yeah, <laughs> and the lights were a whole thing. Like they were super sick at first, and then they started dying on us. Right. And I thought like I told you guys last time they were like VX batteries. Yeah. So I had the four VX batteries for the two lights, and then I would like charge it for like a day, and then they would still die after like thirty minutes to an hour in our session. Then we'd have to like turn lights off, turn them <laughs> on in between tries. The worst, bro. Yeah. Yeah, the worst. Yeah. That's how that's how your ender went down. Yeah. Was literally in between me and Grub flashing the light on and off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were nice with the extension cords. Right. I know. Yeah, when we had the extension cords, it would go. But, I mean, think Full about how many spots we would go to with no outlet. Yeah. There's only like a handful. Right. And I don't know how you've been filming other projects, but I noticed you, you put a crazy amount of effort into, into your tricks specifically. Oh, dude. I, the most consistent inconsistent skater dude like i got i know that i have certain things but it like it takes me forever the, the mental anguish you were going through oh dude i had so many meltdowns dude and so much <laughs> so many miles on my car like yeah. light like life dude. meltdowns oh dude i was like having shop meltdowns like everything everything was tough dude and i was like I have been doing this for 18 years <laughs> and i've had a shot for like why am i going through this like it takes me an hour to land a trick like <laughs> Well, it shows though. Those yeah. those clips are nuts, bro. Yeah. yeah, he says that he's trying something hard as shit. The, the, <laughs> yeah, that's facts. He'll get he'll get he'll start screaming if he misses the 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 front shove nose grind back one eighty. I'm like, it's been you've d- done it like maybe twelve times. I know. Dude. Twelve twelve attempts at it. Yeah. If I landed one of these in my entire life. <laughs> I'm breaking my board and I'm leave I'm I'm quitting. I, I think it's like the O C D. Like I was always I kinda I consider myself like a drill skater. Like growing up, like I would go to Fortville, I would go to L P and I would do the same trick two times in a row and if I didn't land it or if I like didn't one and I fell in the next one, I would have to like do it again and I would keep doing it again. So like I take that from the skate park into the streets and I'm like, okay, well like dude, if I've done this trick this many times and I feel comfortable with it, no matter what I'm skating, then I should be able to like bang this shit out when you know, yeah, within a reasonable time. But so when I don't, yeah, I just have a mill down. <laughs> so that was that hey, whole part. If I land something difficult once, I'm like, thank God, thank God. You you've seen it. You've seen yeah. it. Yeah, you guys go crazy, bro. I'm just chilling. 
<laughs> yeah, he really does. And that's why he had like six minutes of footage. <laughs> nah, there was one you got super mad at. Uh, what was it? Oh, there was a couple he was tripping on. Yeah, there was a couple. Right. He did, but it's not like us. He hits it with the, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. He gets like this serious face because he's always smiling, but like he'll get like this serious face and you could tell he's really bugging out when he doesn't get a trick after a certain amount of time. I think it was the, the very old heel had you tripping into the bank loading dock drop off oh, that oh went into God. the pox song. Yeah. I was not there. Bro, he was like tripping. The pox pro- the pox song. Yeah. That was a good transition. Yeah. But. Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, I don't know. I feel like that was definitely the best project to date. I think everybody skated really well. I'm so Adam happy with good. it. You know, Thrasher posted it. Transworld posted it. Like, that was, I think, a dream come true for everybody. Oh, yeah. They blessed they blessed us for sure. That was un- an unbelievable moment like, for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Well, Especially, like, dudes that weren't able to be a part of the first shot video that yeah. kind of got that the, a similar treatment. Yeah. Like, being able to have that, that was really dope. I know. I know Kawan was super hyped. Was he? Yeah, I didn't really yeah. get to talk to him about it or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was hyped. Oh, my God. I know so Keaton hyped. was super grateful to uh, talk right. to him and like yeah, a lot bro, of the dudes Keaton in between. only filmed for like a month and a half. He had like, what, a minute? 20? A minute, like a minute yeah. and a half. About, yeah. about a minute, something like that. Insane, man. Of, of heaters, too. Yeah, he rips. So right. And I know he's, he's definitely going to be on it when it comes to, excuse me, this upcoming summer. Yeah. He seems like he's fired up. Yeah, we just got to we just got to get him out of Kokomo in Peru. We got <laughs> to get him to the city a yeah, little bit more. Yeah, you're like Keaton. Yeah, for real. Keaton, you no, got to get to the city, bro. No yeah, more this, is where the, this is where the spots are at. Yeah. No more Kokomo, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to go up there. I can't go up there. Anywhere up north right now, I'm just so burnt. Still, <laughs> we haven't filmed for like four months. I'm so burnt. I can't. Dude. <laughs> we got to go. just the thought. You imagine filming a street clip right now? Oh, dude, I'd be tripping. Nah. I know all the spots up anywhere up there so i'm like i'm not gonna enjoy myself anywhere up there bro it wouldn't matter where it was if i'm going to film street right now i'm i'm low-key pissed yeah yeah <laughs> it's the consistency we get the winter legs the win- the was they call it the winter blues or some shit like that yeah, yeah. just burnt dude yeah we got a lot, we got a lot left in the tank though yeah i agree absolutely I agree, for sure so what's next um ben you said you're about to move down here yeah, so I mean, as far as my personal life goes, I start, I start grad school in uh, August for physical therapy, which will be dope. Moving down to Indianapolis, cool. Gonna be a nap guy. Yeah, <laughs> should be fun. Should you're be a good time. You're gonna be hyped. But you said that first year, you're pretty much like tied up with school. Oh yeah, like tapped in. It's like um, it's like 24 credits a semester. So it's a semester. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna have a lot of personal time. So yeah. that the next year for me is is gonna be pretty tied up in school but it, it loosens up a little bit um second and third year when that's, i have more clinical rotations that's three years for four three years and summers so it's three straight years of we don't stop <laughs> yeah and 36 cli- months yeah straight right clinical rotations and all so like the real world hands-on stuff traveling to different cities it'll be fun though like it's yeah, i i'm sick. really excited for it and i like uh I don't, I don't do well with being not busy. I need to be busy. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to be sitting idle. I'm the same way, dude. I always got my hands in something. I cannot sit still. Right, or else I'm going to get into something that I don't want to be in. So Of course, yeah. Right. You can get like uh, you can get carried away into some into, shit that into you don't need to be. stupid stuff. Yeah, man, yeah. you don't need to do that. And it's easy in small towns to get carried away with that shit. So it's good that you have school to kind of keep you on track and skateboarding right. and the homies, you know what I mean? Because in small towns, there's not a whole lot of accountability. No, at all. <laughs> right. At all. For sure. It's easy to get caught up. Right. Cruz, what's next for you? Uh, I'm just going to be skating. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked out for him. <laughs> it's worked out for him yeah. this far. You, do, you, know, you don't want to be around him when he's not skating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah dude. It's not cool. We're, what are we doing? We're doing some like normal people shit, and bro's like, I need to skate right now. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to skate. We can't, we can't even go out and have like, we can't even go out to eat without him talking about skating. I'm like, bro, <laughs> please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be skating. So bro, I just go to, with the flow. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to do full part. You're trying to just do like Instagram footage. I mean, I know you want to be back in the streets course yeah you know definitely oh yeah we're only instagram skaters now <laughs> man this generation this video part stuff it ain't all that no nah, i'm just playing I'm just attention playing. span attention span i'm just playing yeah i mean i feel like we'll just probably keep doing most of the exact same stuff because like since 
since 2014, or really. We've just been filming, always yeah. filming. Yeah. Only time I took a break was in college, but that's because nobody wanted to make the road trip down. Yeah. Even I though I like had my Austin own spot. Did. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. did. He did maybe like three times. Okay. Um. So there's a there was a part that he put out. It's just called Austin Blend that has um has a handful of tricks from Bloomington, like that bump to bar. You remember that one? The back to the back tail. Back on eighty. Yeah, that was an Apollo. Um. What was the one on, on the uh, outledge? Oh, the one with the pole in the end? Yeah. He 50 the other side of it and then popped over, over the pole, the, over which the pole. was crazy. Yeah. That was super dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, isn't it in this one? Uh, nah, nah, this nah, is, nah, this nah. is activated. That's activated. One, huh? Bro, you, you, don't, you don't know the culture? I know the culture. That's crazy. Trust bro. me, I'm always there. <laughs> That's wild. Well, yeah, man, it's been, it's been sick catching up with you guys and... Uh, Tapping in and getting to know the origins, you know, up to date. Yes, what's sir. going on in the future. And uh, hopefully we can uh, keep this shit going. You know, I want to be able to film parts. I want to do more shop videos. I want oh, everybody yeah. to have more parts. You know what I mean? Even if it's just like not in a full video project. Right. I feel like that's really, really important. And I feel like kids nowadays, everything's on Instagram. So if we can just keep this going and keep like the tradition going. Right. As far as a shop goes, I feel like as a collective, like obviously you guys are going to do your own thing. But there's not enough of that in our city. Right. And talking about, you said the single parts, like it doesn't have to be the same thing every time. It doesn't have to be a 15, 20 minute video every time. No. You know what I mean? No, it doesn't. Not at all. Like it doesn't have to be 65 connection too. Yeah. We could just do, we could just do what, whatever, whatever, whatever it turns into. Yeah. Literally whatever. We usually just kind of let the footage determine what it is that we have, you know? Yep. I hear you. I forget what I had asked last time. What that last, what that last, uh, Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, yeah, that's got to be edited out. Uh, so, yeah, what would you guys tell your younger self now, then? So I'm changing my answer from the last one because I had some time to think about it. It was uh, pay attention to your board specs. Yeah. So... Don't always yes, bro, don't yes. don't switch don't yes. switch board brands every time you buy a new board just because it looks cool. Don't change your trucks just because you're like whatever. I want to change the trucks. Like, yeah. pay attention to what actually works for you because I would cha- like I feel like I would change my deck brand every time I got a new board. And yeah, I always wondered why I could be consistent. Of course, because you're and I can't blame myself. Different. It couldn't it could be me. <laughs> yeah, I mean it could be your, your, <laughs> I'll play. your tail smaller. Or your wheelbase is shorter or longer. You know what I mean? People really only focus on the width, and I feel like there is other things you should be focused on too. So that's good. Right. Once I started being consistent, it helps so much because I'm just skating the same thing, and I like it. For sure. Yeah. I like that. That's a good answer. Right. I like that one a lot. Cruz? I'm going to go with the same one as last time and just uh, committing on all the tries. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Always commit 100%. Even if it's just like some tech shit. I feel like if you just commit to it, it's going to get you – to yeah. where you want to be. No one wants to just put themselves through agonizing pain for <laughs> yeah, literally. for an hour doing the same shit and it's, then having to walk away and not get it or barely get it. Right. And it's like, it's usually safer anyway. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, dude, thank you guys. I appreciate y'all coming on, taking the time again. Appreciate y'all having us. Making the drive. That means a lot for real, especially the first episode. Oh, yeah. I'm sleeping on the way back. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Cruz, we got Cruz Lopez. He's been riding for the shops with my boy for a minute now. We got Ben. What's your guys' IGs? At Ben Verada, V is in Victor, I R A T A. <laughs> Easy. Check me out. Yeah, Cruz. And just Cruz Lopez. Hell yeah. And I am your host, Aaron Vaughn. Um, follow the shop before you follow me, Verse Skateboard Shop. Uh, you know, mine's Aaron underscore Vaughn. And uh, yeah, this is the Verse Podcast, first episode. Thanks for tuning in. 65 Connection on YouTube, Activator on YouTube, uh, Verse Board Shop on YouTube. Uh, same thing with Twitter, same thing with Facebook. Tap in. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, we'll see you guys. <laughs>